everyone. We are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews today. And uh, this is, I guess, uh, this will be an update and I guess an overall explanation of the installation. Uh, I did not do a, a day by day or part by part install on video. I'm sorry. Uh, I was in a rush. I don't even know what I was doing. I was probably uh, like, I, I was probably working on other projects or whatever the case may be. But anyway, you guys saw most of the installation. So I got this thing installed. I put it in, um, you know, I bolted it up against the wall. You guys saw I already got that nice and sturdy. Um, I, I have the cap off because I was doing some testing or whatever the case. But this way with the cap off, you guys can look inside and see the motor or whatever the case may be right there. Uh, but we are going to go over the installation, uh, so I'm just going to uh, talk with you, of, you know, what I did or whatever. Uh, right here, this is, uh, it has two suction ports on this unit, which is kind of cool or, you know, not cool. I don't know. It depends on whatever. Uh, but anyway, so we got one that goes up that is strictly for the chameleon. The reason why we have that is because the chameleon hose is uh it has to be sucked into the wall you don't want a, a vacuum that doesn't really have good power to suck that into the wall especially if you're going to be sharing it if you're just going to be using the chameleon on one vacuum one line um and it's going to be straight to the chameleon you can use a much smaller unit than the one that i have here this monster beast well the biggest most powerful 120 volt that you can get uh you can get 240 volts if you're going to go commercial but i mean you know we weren't going to go with 240 volt i uh this comes in here because this is a port that goes to the small uh studio it goes to the studio apartment this goes over here to the studio i use these connectors right here i did not glue right into it manufacturer usually when you listen to manufacturer instructions on anything they usually do recommend hard gluing, you know, everything, hard piping, electrical equipment and everything like that. You're going to have to put service piping on it as it gets older. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with the performance. But anyway, I used the, one of these. I do not have a problem with it. This has been stalled for a pretty long time right now. Uh, this is um, a two inch, uh, you know, rubber connector that you get at Home Depot Lowe's or you can order these off amazon um they used to be four dollars 450 uh then i think they went to like five or six bucks but that was last year now they're probably like eight bucks right for these things maybe nine dollars by now who knows what's going on with inflation uh but anyway i got this and it's a quick connect right here it fits right over it i tightened it on this way any clogs or whatever you know you just get a five sixteenths nut driver i like to use 5 sixteenths because you get good grip on it and you can quickly get this off yes you can use a flathead but it's kind of annoying with a flathead uh but a 5 sixteenths pops this stainless steel band right off the rubber here pops this off you could take it off you could give it a cleaning and you could take this off for servicing it's great um like i said uh maybe the manufacturer doesn't i didn't like i said i don't remember the instructions because it was like you guys know by my videos i install stuff consistently i'm always working on stuff so i'm reading a lot of instructions maybe they said not to glue because you might have to take this apart just in case for warranty you might have to send it in so you might not even supposed to glue it uh but i did it this way it just works for me because uh, i'm a person that always you know takes stuff apart uh, the exhaust is up here, as you guys can see. I used the one with that steel. I did a review, an unboxing on this or whatever. Uh, came from Amazon. Uh, this one perfectly wraps around uh, the exhaust that's going out. The reason why I did it like this, it just made more sense. It was a lot easier to make this turn. Like I said, you want less restriction as possible on in and out. It doesn't matter, all right? All right, so uh, th this is the left side that I did. Uh, I also did the, um, you know, this has the stainless steel ring in here. Uh, you, you Make sure when you're getting stainless steel, guys, it's 304 or it's, you know, whatever the other ones are that are rated. Uh, you know, I don't know them off the top of my head, but the other ones are rated for stainless steel that do not rust. If you get the other ones that are really cheap, they will, they can rust. They're not supposed to, but they do. So I like to do things the first time around, like I'll spend the money um, and I'll make sure it's going to last forever. Um, you know what I mean? But it doesn't make sense to spend the money if it's like a throwaway kind of thing or something like that. This I want to last 20, 30 years. 
so I, it's an investment. So you you don't want to really be cheap. You know what I mean? You want to kind of look, uh, you know, what's going to make sense here. All right, I put that on here, the same thing. Like I said, that goes on there. That is the adapter that's going to convert to the PVC pipe, all right? Like I said, I did PVC because this is very powerful and I less re less restriction and the chameleon would suck right into that anyway. So this one, like I said, is dedicated just for the chameleon to get all that suction just for itself so you really get that power. Uh, we have a 50-foot chameleon. Like I said, they go up to 60 foot. You're going to want something really powerful if you're sharing a house and you are going to be using 60 foot of chameleon or 60 foot of anything that's going to be sucking into the wall guys you're going to want a really powerful unit it's just going to be very expensive all right and luckily for me like i said i do all this for a living or i used to at least in, in my good prime days i used to do this for a living and so you know it, it's a little bit easier for me to do a lot of stuff and be able to save uh, but, and as you saw my house, when I did the installation, a lot of my walls, this is all open. So it's easier. If you're going to do it in your house and be opening up walls and you have to seal it up, it, the price is going to jack up like crazy. All right. Uh, just to let you know, going into it, uh, to be prepared of what the plan is. Remember, plan it out, plan it two, three times. All right. You know, you don't want to mess it up. Uh, yeah, mine comes in like that. Uh, my chameleon, like I said, ends about five, six feet that way. So we get really good suction in there. Really, it really pulls on in there. Um, and this is what mine, you know, looks like. Let's go to the exhaust. I didn't get to show you the the full on the exhaust. Uh, that's the exhaust. That's what I glued up right there. All right, you're like, what the hell are all those zip ties? Uh, this is the exhaust that I glued right there. Like I told you, it goes up. Uh, those zip ties are just to hold the pipes or whatever. Maybe. Oh, oh, I, I, I put those zip ties on, honestly, yeah, to hold this in because... Uh, I had a problem and I had to cut it open. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. It, it's going to be fine um, because I, you just need to get a bracket um, and bracket it. A as you can see, see, I, I put mine right there and um, I just got it. You just got to put a, a, a bracket up on that and then it's going to be fine. That's the last kind of thing I got to do. My, my, that's my exhaust. It goes right through. I pilot hold, obviously, with a long bit. I used, um, you know, a circular saw. Those are the best ones. A rigid I used, um, I think two inch, two and a half inch uh, is what I used um, on that one is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to, you know, punch through the whole entire house. And then, you know, that's where the exhaust, uh, you know, is where, um, you know, where the vent cover is or whatever the thing is that is on the outside that I, that I showed you guys that I did have. All right. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that is the motor up there. Uh, that's the motor, the padding or whatever. And, uh, yeah, you want to make sure that's going to be kept clean. Like I said, I just had that off cause I was messing with some stuff. Um, but that's, is what the, uh, you know, motor does look like that Tangi Tangi motor. Well, I don't know, whatever the hell they say the name of that motor is. All right, everyone. So we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews. Uh, I just wanted to show you, this is what the outside looks like. Uh, what happened was my bad, um, I broke the bottom piece by accident. I was, you know, whatever I was lifting something or whatever, but that was my fault. Uh, not a case, uh, not an issue with the, um, you know with that vent that i bought or whatever that new tone or whatever brand that is it's not that it's i broke that by accident but anyway um that's kind of what it looks like uh you know i just siliconed right around it i mean you know the you know i put a, a lot of silicone no one's going to notice it over here obviously if you have you know uh, a new house or brick or stuff like that i would kind of blend in the silicone and i you know would have obviously you know sealed it in there but since I have the aluminum siding and you guys saw how it was up and it was weird looking like that and I didn't and I couldn't go lower right because if I went lower you were gonna worry about snow and everything else right that that was gonna not work out but like I said you guys saw I didn't have much to work with so I the problem was I have a gap on the side of you know where that meets as you guys can see I have aluminum siding so it is stepped like that and it, it was like a half inch so I had to seal it really good with silicone you don't want any leaks you don't want anything going in the house otherwise you're asking for problems aluminum siding you know you have wood back there and it's gonna rot if you get wood I mean if you get water in the back there it's gonna end up rotting you're gonna have huge issues you don't want termites whatever blah 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 all right but that's kind of what the outside looks like like I said you can get a different vent put yours in um, you can get color 
um, matching silicone if you want. The, you know, this loom siding is faded. It doesn't matter. We're never going to get it to match, but you could do something on your house, all right? All right, all right, everybody. That is it for Glen Velvet Reviews, pretty much on the installation on the uh, Canavac that I got that you guys can see. Um, everyone's uh, piping is going to be different. That's not real. That's not why I'm going through mine so much. I mean, um, I'll probably do an update and, you know, I'll show you guys what's going on. But right now, the initial install of the vacuum itself is done, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm very happy. We'll turn it on, you know, really quick. But uh, yeah, but that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews on the, uh, you know, uh, on the installation, on uh, everything else. And I guess we're going to sum it up uh, from there. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community just like I get help from the community, all right? Um, if you can, unless you dislike me for any reason or, you know, whatever the case may be and so forth. Uh, but if you can, you can support uh, the channel by using the affiliate links below. If you're going to buy anything off Amazon, such as this or anything else off Amazon, I think I get credit if you click on the link, no matter what. It's a very, very small credit, but somehow, I guess, times a million, it equals into something or down the road. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but there are other ways to support the channel on YouTube from what I saw now. And if you do decide to support the channel, please make sure to check back and see that I am putting that support back into the channel. But that's pretty much it that we can all expect. Let's give this a turn on and we'll close it out from there. Let me open up the port. All right, let's give this a turn on, guys. Uh, just to let you know, uh, you know what? Let's go back. We're going to go back. We are six... We're seven. We're going to go back about eight feet. Yeah, we're about eight feet away. So you guys can now at least see eight feet, how loud it's going to be inside this room. All right, ready? All right, that's it. It's done. Uh, that was with the cap off, uh, so it was a little bit louder, but it would be a little bit quieter, quieter than that. It's really not that loud for something this powerful, and you're going to have it downstairs. When you're using it upstairs, guys, you really don't notice it uh, all that much, all right? All right, everyone, so I guess that's how we're going to end it. Uh, that's it for the install. Like I said, any questions or comments, you know, let me know. And uh, Glen Velvet Reviews is out. Bye-bye. Be safe, everyone. Enjoy.